The Safari sidebar provides a quick way to view and organize not only bookmarks, but also your reading list and shared links from Twitter, LinkedIn, or RSS feeds. To view or hide the sidebar, click the button here. The same can be done from the View menu, or with the keyboard shortcut, Shift-Command-L. You can also go directly to any of the three tabs in the sidebar from the View menu, or with a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to start in the Bookmarks tab, so I'll press Ctrl-Command-1. Currently, I have three bookmark folders in here, Favorites, News, and Popular. A new bookmark can be added in a few ways. I can use the keyboard shortcut Command D, drag and drop, or use the bookmarks menu. So I'm on cbssports.com. If I hit Command D, a menu slides down asking me where I want to save this bookmark. Notice that I have the same folders here, Favorites, News, and Popular, as I do over in the sidebar. I'm going to edit the name of the bookmark and save this to my favorites. The bookmark will now appear whenever I click on the address bar with my other favorites, Apple, Wikipedia, Macworld, and iCloud.com. Now let's go to a different site and press Command D again. Select just the bookmarks menu here, and this bookmark is going to be added to the bookmarks list here below the popular folder. To view a folder's content in the sidebar, just click on it. To remove a bookmark from the sidebar, right or control click on it and choose Remove. Let's go to a different website again and add a bookmark this time by drag and drop. To grab this site, I need to click to select the address bar, and then on the far left side, click and drag on the web page icon. Drag it over a folder to place it inside. It's also very easy to rearrange bookmarks in the sidebar. Just click and drag to move from one folder to another. To add a new folder to the sidebar, right or control click on an empty area in the sidebar. I'll name this one Sports News and quickly add a few sites into it. So here's my new Sports News folder. To get quicker access to this folder, I can add it into my Favorites folder. To get faster access to my Favorites, I can go to the View menu and select Show Favorites Bar. There it is. Notice that the Sports News folder has a little down arrow next to it, which lets me know it's a folder. Click on it and the bookmarks within it are displayed. Click Open in New Tabs at the bottom to open all three sites at once in new separate tabs. Right click on the folder in the Favorites bar and I can tell it to automatically replace tabs. This changes the down arrow in the Favorites bar to a square. And when I click on the Sports News bookmark, all the sites are automatically opened, replacing any tabs that are currently open. Right click on the bookmark in the Favorites bar again to turn off Auto Replace Tabs. Next over in the sidebar is the Reading List. Reading List is sort of a temporary bookmarks list. These are usually going to be articles or news stories that you want to come back to once or twice to finish reading, but you don't want to have bookmarked permanently. So if I want to add this article to my reading list, I can just click the plus button here in the address bar, and it's saved. Now let's add a different article. This time I'll drag and drop it into the reading list. 
And finally, the shortcut Shift-Command-D will also add a page to your reading list. So now I have those three articles saved in my reading list. Next time I open Safari, I can click on one and be taken back to that story. Once I'm finished reading, I can remove it from the reading list by clicking the X button that appears as I hover over it in the sidebar. Right-click on an empty area here to clean out all the reading list articles. Lastly in the sidebar are shared links. As long as I'm signed into a Twitter or LinkedIn account in System Preferences Internet Accounts, the links posted to my Twitter timeline will all appear here. Notice that this isn't a full Twitter feed. I don't get all the Twitter posts here, only posts that have web links included are shown. Click on one and that link opens. I could then quickly retweet the article here. Right-click on a link and I can view it on Twitter.com or view all the tweets from that poster. I can search through these links as well. I'll enter a search for Beats and shared links with that keyword will appear. Click Subscriptions down here and I can add another social media account or RSS feeds that come from websites in my favorites. So that's the Safari sidebar. It's a great way to easily and quickly add, remove, and organize bookmarks, manage your reading list, and shared links. If you have a Mac with a large display, leaving the sidebar open all the time can be pretty handy. Otherwise, remember Shift-Command-L will view or hide it quickly.